Hello and welcome. This is the first video in the series, Get Response Affiliate Marketing, where I'm gonna show you how to set up an affiliate marketing business using just Get Response. The best part is everything I'm gonna show you can be done with their free forever account. That means it's gonna cost you absolutely nothing to use Get Response and build an entire affiliate marketing business. Now I've broken this up into a series of videos to make it as easy as possible for you to follow along. So if you wanna be notified when those videos are released, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so YouTube can let you know. And if you're watching this video a little bit later on, I'm gonna link all of the consecutive videos in the description. So make sure you check the description and see if there's any videos that you can follow along with in there. Now the first video in the series, I'm gonna show you how to set up your account. This is the first step in the process and it is absolutely vital for your success. If you set it up the wrong way, then your emails are gonna go to spam. You're not gonna be able to set up your domains, your landing pages properly, all of that stuff. We wanna cover that in today's video nice quick simple video so make sure you keep watching so you can get your account set up properly the first part of that is you we need to create a free account all you need to do hit the link in the description head over to the school of forward slash get response that's going to bring you over to this page here where you can go and create your free account all you need to do put in any email address in here make sure it's not a spam email address guys because you'll need to confirm it you're going to hit create account and you're going to go over to the dashboard let's go and jump inside and i can show you how to set up your get response account so once you're inside get response you're going to be met with this dashboard here now it might look different for you because these are what they call widgets and you can add new widgets you can remove widgets it doesn't really matter this is irrelevant to us at the minute we are just here to set up our account so all you're going to do is go over to the top right hand side and we're going to go to manage accounts before we do let's have a quick overview of what we get inside our free account so at the top we've got contacts that's our list of contacts that we add through our landing pages we've got our email marketing which is our email newsletters that we're going to be sending to those leads to try and get them to buy our products. Then we've got our reports. That's gonna tell us how well our emails are doing, how well our landing pages are doing, all of that good stuff, all of that analytics we need to understand and monitor so that we can improve our business and make sure we have the best chance of making money. On the left hand side here, we've got our tools and you can see there's an extensive list of tools inside GetResponse. We've got email marketing, we've got autoresponders, we've got website builders, landing pages, forms and pop-ups, we've got reports, e-commerce tools, automation tools, webinars, there's loads of stuff in here we're not going to worry about most of those we're keeping this as simple as possible so you can get your business up and running as fast as possible guys and today we want to set up our account this guy over on the right here you're going to click on your little image or whatever shows up at the top we're going to go to manage account the most important part is we need to set up our email address and we need to set up our landing page domain this is absolutely vital for your success now the email address that you signed up with was probably a Gmail account, a Hotmail account, a Yahoo account, whatever it may be. You cannot send emails from those email address accounts. There's a number of different reasons why, but just to put it simply, your emails will end up in spam. It will cause a lot of problems. You'll never make any sales. So first thing, we need to add an email address. Now this is gonna mean you need to go and buy yourself a custom domain. But don't worry guys, they're very, very cheap. They cost just a couple of dollars. If you're worried about spending a couple of dollars on a domain, then you're not taking this seriously and this really isn't gonna be the business for you. If you are serious about building a successful affiliate marketing business, you need a custom domain, not only for this email address and the landing page domains, but you need to be able to build a brand around that business. That is the only way you're gonna find success with affiliate marketing. So once you've gone and got your domain, you can get it from anywhere like GoDaddy, Namecheap, if you haven't got one already. If you're wondering where I get mine from, then I will leave a link in the description. I get my domains from SiteGround because that is the place that I trust. I'll leave a link for that in the description. So once you've got your domain, we're gonna add an email address. This is so simple, guys. All we need to do is hit add domain, you're gonna give it a name. Now this is a name just for you guys, so you're gonna call it your business name, whatever you wanna call it, and then you're gonna add your email address in there. So for me, the email address that I've added is charlie at schoolofaffiliates.com, and that is the email address that I want my emails to be sent from. Very, very simple, and we're gonna hit add. Now I've already added mine, and you can see that it pops up on your list of email domains here. Now you can add as many as you like, but the 
the part that we need to focus on now is we need to authenticate this. So we need to make sure that it's all set up. Now, once you've added that, they're going to send you an email to that email address so that you need to go and confirm that that's your email and you have the rights to it. Once we've done that, we're going to hit authenticate. And this is where we need to add a text record in our DNS settings. Sounds very complicated, but it's really not. You're going to go into your hosting provider. So if you used SiteGround from the link that I give you in the description below, you're going to go to your DNS zone editor and then we need to add a new text record. We're going to hit text and then we head back over to our get response account and you can see that this is our name the record is for this name here but we don't need the schoolofaffiliates.com bit because if we have a look it's already got schoolofaffiliates.com so we just need that first section there we're going to take that right up to the main key and we go back over we're going to paste that into there you can see that i've already added mine mine is already active and authenticated you can see that it's authenticated here yours will say that it's not been authenticated the second part is once we've done that is we need to copy this text here we're going to head back over and inside this value we're going to paste that into there we're going to hit create now it can take up to 24 hours 48 hours something like that for this to work in my experience it takes a matter of a couple of hours at most and then once that's authenticated that will show inside your get response account that's it our email address is set up that means that when we send an email it's coming from our custom domain a nice clean domain it means that our emails are going to land in the inbox it means that we're going to get the best chance of deliverability it means that we're building that personal brand with people we're not using a get response subdomain it gives us the best possible chance of success next part we need to add a landing page domain and it's simple we're going to add a domain we're going to give it a subdomain and then obviously our main domain text so for me it's schoolaffiliates.com and on these examples i've used money.schoolaffiliate.com and promo.schoolaffiliate.com now you can see this one is waiting here so why is that waiting we need to add a dns record again very very simple there's a document here that you can follow and i will leave this linked in the description guys to make it easy so we need to go in and we need to create a c name record this time for the domain that points to squeeze.gr8.com very very simple so we're going to go and add a new c name record we've got to remember what the subdomain was in this case it was money we're going to leave that at 24 hours and then resolves to we'll remember that we need the squeeze.gr8.com we're going to copy that we're going to head back over. We're going to paste it into there. We're going to hit create. We wait for it to load. Again, this can take up to 24 hours as well, but it said it's correct. We're going to go back over to our get response account. We're going to refresh the page and you can see it's still waiting. So it might take a couple of hours. Like I said, in my experience, it happens really, really quickly. That is it. Once we've done that, we have set up everything we need inside our get response account. The next video in the series, I'm going to walk you through finding a product to promote and then setting up our landing page, connecting that up. That is going to be the next video, guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so YouTube can let you know and check out the description for all the links to the consecutive videos let's build an affiliate marketing business using get response i'll see you on the next video